there's always some kid who complains about what perk you have. And I personally think the most complained about perk is steady aim. You know, steady aim is synonymous with, wow, can you spray some more bullets? But as long as you're getting <laughs> the job done, does it really nah. matter whether you're spraying? <laughs> Uh, no, honestly, I mean, it's steady aim is, I guess, in a way, the way I look at it is, it's an extra benefit to if you don't have time to aim down the sights. If someone's charging at you like a madman, I mean, and you're obviously going to have to kill them. I mean, you don't want to die, or at least I would hope you don't want to die. So, I mean, obviously you're going to shoot like a madman, and steady aim, you don't, you don't waste many bullets, and you do end up killing them because it focuses more of your rounds in one general direction. Definitely, you know, I've, I used study in a couple classes. Definitely rushing classes, I think, are better with steady aim because you run and you run and you really don't have time to aim on your sight. So it's, it's a lot easier to be more accurate with your spraying with the steady aim. Right. I think, but, I mean, I think the part personally that everybody complains about all the time is Commando yeah. Pro. Definitely, definitely. You know, your 10-foot Halo beam sword lunge and Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> you just get kind of confused when you see this guy lunging through your ACR, you're sitting there lighting them up and he just knifes you. I think in a game where you have a primary weapon and a secondary weapon, I think a knife is kind of antiquated, honestly. You're supposed to use your primary and secondary weapon, and I, I honestly think it's a little bit, you know, dishonorable to use a knife. You're in somebody's face, you have a gun in your hand, but yet let me pull out a knife instead. <laughs> yeah, I guess that uh, the saying, uh, never bring a knife to a gunfight doesn't apply here, does it? Definitely, definitely not, because <laughs> I've been nice to fair a few times. <laughs> yeah, me as well. I mean, I can't, I honestly can't understand. I can't, you know, it, it just boggles my mind on how how many people choose to use, you know, a, a little, like, two-inch army knife that you could probably, you know, get at a surplus store. You could probably get it at Toys R Us if you wanted to. Um, over, you know, a well-adapted assault rifle that, you know, obviously fires ammunition. And probably big caliber yeah. of that. Throwing knives, nice, though, I, I think I think it's pretty cool. And that's an element that really hasn't been in first-person shooters for a while. I mean, it's not in COD 4. It wasn't in any other Call of Duty games. You know, it's not in Halo. It's not in Gears. Uh, not, not even in, in the, uh, the what, first Red Faction, right? Was it? I, I never played it. But um, uh, I know uh, that <laughs> with the games that I've played, I've never seen a throwing knife. And I think that was a kind of cool idea. But it's once great. again, that kind of adds to the whole thing of, I have a gun. It shoots projectiles. Do I really need another knife? Well, no, like, the way I look at it is, I mean, a lot of the times when I get killed by throwing knives, I mean, yeah, I'll give props to the guy on the other team who's, you know, running around, he's supporting his team, he's shooting people, and, like, every once in a while, I mean, you'll think, okay, he's going to shoot me, but no, he throws a little knife and kills me, and, I mean, I congratulate him, but I don't like the people, I don't know, who, you I think know, it's kind of funny riot, sometimes you know? when you get hit in your equipment, right? You watch the kill cam and this knife sticks into your backpack, but yet you die. I mean, it doesn't make yeah. any sense. Ah, I mean, I guess that's just the way they've made the game, really. <laughs> that's the what I mean. I, I, find I, I, how... I, I see much more respect than being shot, though. Like, okay, yeah, you Agreed. shot me. It's obviously going to go through my backpack. You threw a knife into my backpack. I don't really think that's going to kill me, but, you know, whatever. No, definitely goes. not. I mean, I, apparently, I mean, the backpack appears to be gigantic, but, I mean, in uh, Call of Duty Land, it's, you know, right against your spine and your major arteries, and it kills you instantly. <laughs> definitely, definitely right. Well, but, keeping I mean, with the same topic as silly things in the game, such as throwing knives and, you know, using your melee knife instead of shooting somebody with the assault rifle you have in your hand, right? So I think another thing that's kind of funny is when you're when you're on a map and you're playing something that's a search and destroy, which, which is generally you're supposed to be quiet and kind of, you know, stay away from the enemy, and you hear this guy standing next to you, reloading! Is that really necessary? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I find it kind of funny that, you know, I mean, if you got people on the other team who don't like you, or, I mean, yeah, they don't know you, and they're going to kill you because that's their intent, I don't think it's the brightest idea to yell out, I'm going to reload, guys, and, you know, I don't know, it just doesn't show <clears throat> intelligence to me at all. Also, <laughs> you know, my funniest, funniest thing in this game, honestly, in Modern Warfare 2, the funniest thing is when the enemy team gets an AC-130, and the announcer for your team screams out, enemy AC-130 in the air. Enemy AC-130 is that, is that necessary? I mean, <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, yeah, it's comical. I mean, it, it, like, takes away some of the frustration that you have after being spawn killed. Who knows how many times was that kid who just got the AC-130. But it's just overrated, and it, <laughs> like I said, it's comical. It's comical, not comical, wow. Um, but, um, yeah, nice, it, nice it's there, over... <laughs> It's over. It's overused. It really is. It's not needed. I mean, a simple. If there's AC-130 in the air. Is, just letting is more you know. Just letting you know, right? Because when you get a nuke, 
what is the amount they say for you? Uh, tax I don't is incoming. Thanks. Yeah. You know, there's really no yeah, need for the screaming so emphasis behind it. You know, I I think we'll notice the giant airplane firing 40 millimeter rounds at us. But thanks for screaming it also. Exactly. Thanks for you know blowing out my eardrums and making me wet myself. You know, and just just what I needed to add on to the this huge you know flying vehicle shooting at me trying to kill me. That just adds so, to so much more. It's it's ridiculous, really.